Welcome to Infinity's Shaman Circle. I have created a sacred space dedicated to you, your body and soul, and our spirit tribe connections. Here, Soul Family Journeys Together. Hello, love, and welcome to Infinity Shaman Circle Podcast. I am Infinity, and this is episode nine. And the last map of the Soul Quest program, and it turns out I didn't do any other episodes other than our maps for the beginning of the Soul Quest program. I thought that I would, uh, but honestly, there just hasn't been the time for it. This program and everything that's been connected to it in the time frame these last two months have gone by so quickly. It's been so intense and so amazing and so magical. And my literal life has been in step with major things going on throughout the program, but especially starting at the physical map. And uh, it's just been, yeah, amazing, uh, intense. Uh, I am preparing for a move up to the Redding area of Northern California, and I'm very excited about that. I'm actually going to be moving on the next full moon, the third, uh, uh, between the second and the third, I'll be driving up to Northern California, uh, and, uh, yeah, starting a new life there on an amazing piece of land. So I'm super stoked. I also got a new car. Uh, and all of that happened in the abundance map week where all the abundance was going on in my life. And it was just really, really cool. So it's been really cool for me personally. The spirit walks have been absolutely on another level for the for this program. And they're already, if you did, uh, if you were with me live for the daily Shaman Circle um, shows that I did on Fireside and simulcasted on YouTube, I'm not doing shows on Fireside anymore, but I am still doing them on, on YouTube all the time. But, but anyway, uh, those spirit walks were amazing. They led up to the program and... Um, Yeah, those would be great to review as well. Um, but anyhow, uh, the spirit walks for this program have just been absolutely mind blowing. Um, I have yet to record this last one for our spirit name map, the last map. I hadn't said that yet. Uh, it's uh, my spirit name is the name of the map. It's not a body map. It's a soul map. And it's the last one. And uh, what can I say? It's such a big deal to reconnect with your spirit name, the essence, the vibe, the frequency, how it activates you in so many really amazing ways. My own story with that um is is just that it i wasn't thinking about a new name or changing my name um i really uh love my name my given name is vanessa it means gift from god or uh butterfly just butterfly and i've always loved butterflies and very much resonate with the energy of butterflies um, so I was pretty resistant to this whole, when the, when the, uh, guidance came through that I needed a spirit name, I'm like, what you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? Uh, and, but when it hit, and I'm not going to get into the whole story now, but when it hit and it was like a lightning bolt through me, um, and then I didn't even realize what it meant at the time, actually. And then when it really came through that that was my spirit name, Infinity, I mean, it's rare you see that name, that as a name. And uh, I was like, for my like 
actual name that I go by in real life? Really? Like, no. And then not only with a Y, but an I. So it has all the I's that can convert to ones, which is four of them. And so that's 1111 and the activation connected with that. And um, the reminder to everyone that we are infinite, infinite souls. We have an infinite story playing out on many different levels throughout creation. Uh, we're focused on this one for the most part, but connected to all of it. Um, and I, I understood it. I got it. It was still weird for me um, to at first just tell somebody that this was my new name and I was to be called by this name and um, and for them to receive it and say, okay, you know, and then for the first time that I told a new person, I introduced myself, told a new person my name, how awkward it was. First, I start saying, ben, I go, Benet Infinity, and they go, you don't know your name. <laughs> I were like, this person called me out. Like, a lot of people just been like, okay, like, confused, but this person literally was like, you don't know your name. <laughs> like it's a whole and I kind of explained it and they're like okay well you know it was just the weirdest most awkward I just wanted to bury like dig out a hole in the ground and crawl right in <laughs> bury myself it was so embarrassing because I fumbled it so bad because it just it took me off guard she asked me my name and it was just we we're people at a shopping stand at a farmer's market we were kind of talking about stuff but most of the time you don't introduce yourself in those situations but i can't remember exactly what happened this was so long ago at this point but the conversation kind of shifted and then whatever it was it was about crystals or animals or healing or whatever i can't remember what uh, and then she said, oh, I'm so-and-so. And, you know, I go, oh, shit. And before I could really process what was happening, I was like, you know, just on automatic saying my, my name. And I was like, nope, you're not supposed to do that. Because I had had a, a meeting with my guides. And they said, you know, next time you meet somebody new, you have to say infinity this time, you know, the next time. And I was like, oh, okay. And... <laughs> He still was not prepared. But the next time when I met somebody and I was, I had gone through that experience and I was like, all right, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I'm going to be solid. My name is Infinity. I had been saying it to myself and everybody took him, you know, in the group can Talk, and I was writing it and thinking it and dreaming it and 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 you know, all this whole thing was going on and uh I had I was doing work where it was that was my name but not like in real life anyhow so uh um the second time uh <laughs> I said, so he, there was a man, I remember, and he said his name, and I said, oh, I'm Infinity, and he went, oh, Infinity, what a name, and had such a reaction, like really lit up, his whole vibe changed, his frequency went, Poof, and it hit me, and I was like, and he got super excited, and He's like, wow, wow, that is so cool. What a cool, and just was but really sincere, but so over the top. And it was the first, he didn't know it was the first time I'd ever said that to anybody, you know, that I didn't know. So I was just like, holy shit, because I had been told by my guides and guardians that people were really going to react and that I would see just how powerful it was and that I would really understand it at that point. And so, of course, it all worked out perfectly. One time for me to, you know, feel like I really needed to be more stable and grounded in that. And I hadn't been yet. So I 
fumbled the ball and felt really silly, but realized this was part of the process. And uh, of course, I look back on it and I laugh now because it's so funny. Just the whole thing was so funny. And um, and then the second time was this just magical experience with this man who just was in euphoric in a euphoric experience because I said my name and immediately my guides go see <laughs> that went because like put something in his coffee to make him do like what like yeah but no I did I was like yeah I see it and it wasn't just that one time it became all the time I would say my name to somebody they would have some big reaction it's and that continues to happen years and years later like it's more weird when when somebody doesn't react to my name they're just like okay and like just have no reaction like i'm like huh, oh, all right <laughs> like um yeah it's usually like oh very cool name or you know that's like very kind like not everybody just goes on and on but some people get really excited about it um and so sorry pretty stop stop no sorry i had to deal with my cat real quick she has this ocd thing about licking herself and putting a sore in her and she just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going if i don't get her attention she won't stop thank you for stopping sorry about that okay so <sighs> so anyhow um after so many times of that, you know, happening and I got used to it more and more, um, then it got weird when people called me Vanessa <laughs> and I'd be like, you know, my name is infinity. But this is especially for people who knew me, you know, at, before that happened, they were used to calling me Vanessa when I moved up here. So all my neighbors called me Vanessa. And when I was like, you know, my, I go by infinity now, pretty much none of them respected that none of like, ex except for my landlord and, um, complicated friend relationship that I have with him. He does his best to call me infinity. And he always has, he texts it, he writes it. He very much, he does respect that, um, which is very nice, but most people didn't, they, you know, um, and I've had it several times where, those same people would introduce me to new, new people and still call, introduce me as Vanessa. And I would have to correct in the moment and say, actually, I go by infinity. And that person would just be like, you know, like never really say, oh, I'm sorry, I forget. Like, you know, it just wouldn't, you know, people would be like, okay. You know, and I would just be like, um, <laughs> I don't get angry about it. I mean, people have their whatever they, you know, like just me being me is um, off the charts, woo and all that. And to take it to the next level and change my name, especially to something like infinity. I think there's just certain people who really resent me for being me at, at my core <laughs> and adding that energy to it just is something they just cannot manage or handle. <laughs> so that's their problem. I'm infinity no matter what. And um, if people don't want to call me that, I'm not going to make a big deal about it. I'm not going to get angry about it. I'm not even going to say anything about it. But if they're introducing me to somebody as my old name, I will do that because I need to do that for the person in the moment. So they know me as the right name. So they don't start with some other name and then I have to go back and then, then it's hard for them because then it's just weird things. So it's really important to immediately correct when somebody does that. Um, and it's just going to empower you. It's just going to make you, it's just, it's, it's going to build your confidence and self-esteem in, in that particular space. Um, when that does, when that the time comes that that will happen, um, when you start using your spirit name. Now, aside from that, um, really getting into the essence of your spirit name, um, this is something that isn't just a name for you in this lifetime. 
Um, it is your spirit name, your soul name. Is another way to say it is soul name, the spirit name, but it's known as spirit name, so we just go with that. But it is really your soul name, the frequency of your soul, your soul song frequency, and the the name, at least in this language. Of course, if it's in we're in different civilizations, we're in different um you know, realms or worlds or whatever, whatever the spirit name is that's appropriate, we'll have that, will be translated into whatever that is. But our spirit name is like our soul print, our Merkaba, our soul essence, our soul song. It is what it is, what it always is eternally, forever, infinitely. And so it's a very, uh, soul connecting part of your ascension process is once that gets activated, once it hits you, whatever it is, it could be one word, it can be multiple words, um, and it could be whatever, 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 whatever. Um, but once that hits, um, it's an activation that, and then once you really connect with it and call yourself that and talk to people about it and have people that already know you call you that, and then introducing yourself to new people with that name and, you know, really integrating it into your life and settling into that essence, that vibe, that frequency. And it's just, it's, it's a ride that's so nice and smooth because aside from it being weird and uncomfortable and awkward in the beginning, um, that it might be for you, maybe it won't be for you, but that's how it was for me. Cause I didn't go through a soul quest program and I wasn't prepared for all that. It just popped. It just happened the way that it did. Um, so, you know, it could be different for you, but if it is, um, something that's awkward for you, that doesn't last very long because the, um, pretty, Hey, stop because the um, the way that you feel once that is implemented with you will feel so good that you're not gonna, the awkward and the uncomfortable really goes away quickly. And then that's replaced by super high vibes and feeling really good about it, really, really seeing how magical it is to help you connect with your soul and your purpose and your mission and everything that's connected to that and that awareness and that knowing and all of that is so important and so critical. Um, and it can only be as maximized as that once the soul name is integrated on that level. So this isn't to overwhelm you or to pressure you to in any way. Um, if you're here, if you're listening to this, it's either because you're in the program or you're interested in what we're talking about here that is has to do with the program and maybe you're thinking about doing the program sometime in the future. Um, one thing to, to I want to make perfectly clear is all of that process, the maximizing and all this stuff that I just talked about, it may not be something that you're ready for. There's other stuff that maybe needs to come before you connect your spirit name and it gets implemented and all that. There's no real timetable for this. It's when it's time. It's like, it's like, you know, we can put a due date on a lady that's pregnant and calculate it and say, this is when the baby is due. That doesn't mean that that's when the baby's going to be ready to be born. <laughs> you know, we need, we just have to let nature take its course and allow it to naturally organically take place. But that doesn't mean that you can't get into the essence and the energy of what that is, have the intention for that will make it happen. And everything that surrounds that will, will be part of that. And this map takes you through um, just a few questions, a couple of websites to look at, to, to, to process. Um, uh, and just a couple of questions and assessments. The rest of it is really just a bunch of different categories 
that I was guided and channeled to have associated here to um, get juices flowing that could spark remembrances of, or, you know, stuff you already feel, things you're already connected to, and just start pulling the threads and weaving things together for yourself. A, a lot of automatic thinking, researching, um, whatever, you know, comes up or automatic writing, um, rather, and I'm um, just going through all the categories and, you know, two, three things come up per category. Great. 20, 30 things come up per category. Great. Whatever it is. And each of these categories are going to, are going to offer some light to, to the, the all for you. And maybe not even necessarily only to do with your spirit name. It could spark some other stuff for you too. You know, this is all very magical and mystical and spiritual and um, nothing is random. Everything that's going to come up for you and you're, you're going to see when you, when you think of um, like, for example, one of the categories is animals. So just start thinking, writing down the animals that you're most connected to, your spirit animals that keep coming around, write those down. Write down animals that you just love. Write down animals that you have. Write down animals in the mountains, from the sea, from, you know, the desert. Like, however you want to think of animals, just write them down. And it doesn't just have to be your always, you know, top three animals. Like, you know, just write down animals, whatever it comes to, whatever it comes to you. And that could snowball into other things. And there's so many categories that you're going to work with and play with and get into. So I suggest just what comes first and organically and naturally, and then, and then going online and putting in, you know, terms for the different categories and see, you know, read different things and lists and whatever that may come up and whatever pops for you, whatever has some resonating, you know, interest or whatever, write it down and don't go too deep into anything when you're doing the map. This is all this, like th the same thing as all the maps. We don't, we want to just get the first layer here of what comes up. We don't want to get bogged down too much into anything or trying to solve anything just yet. That's for later. And now it's just bringing things in and putting it on the table and seeing what you got there and just seeing what it feels like and go through the entire map like this to get you to, you know, to, to complete that and just see where you're at and spend time with it. There's no timetable for when it's time to, to do this for you, for yourself. It's when it's time. And however the process unfolds for you is the way that it's supposed to unfold for you. This is something you're super duper excited about. Um, you know, and I hope that's the case that you want this sooner than later. You feel the truth in what I'm talking about and you want to take yourself through that. Or if you're just like, okay, well, I'll go through the motions, but you know, I'm not, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. That's fine. Wherever you're at, it's totally fine. You are, if you are a member of this program and doing it, um, it is your obligation to complete this map, regardless of where you are with your spirit name and how much you think that you're ready for it or not. That's really beside the point. It's really the easiest map, I think, <laughs> the absolute easiest map ever. So this is going to be a real like, oh, this is fun. This is super easy. I don't have to, I'm not asking myself really, you know, tough questions or assessments. I'm having to think, so, you know, think about these really intense um, questions, like with the other maps. It's not like that. This one isn't like that. There's only like two, I think, two or maybe three questions. Um, the rest is all just writing down what you already know when it comes to these categories and then going over those couple of, I just put in two websites to look at just, that's all I was guided to do. And the rest is just free for all, wherever you're guided to go and research and put on your lists and take it from there. Just leave it at that. Um, and 
where you're meant to go from there will naturally happen. There's no exact formula for how this works. It's about you tapping into you and your soul, feeling into the essence of who you are, what your vibe is, what feels good to you, the different symbols or words or whatever that it is that comes through um, that has and feels good, that has a ring to it, feels good to you. You say it, you talk to those in the program about it or, you know, whomever. Um, if you want to do that, or it could be a very personal thing. You just decide all on your own. You don't tell anybody until it's happened. And then this is what it is. Again, there's no real formula to this. When it came to the spirit name map, it was like, this is just about opening up to what things are that are associated with energies of spirit names. And even those categories, you know, if you think of other things then go for it, right? You know, make a new category for yourself. There is room for that in the, in the map. So have fun, just have fun with this. When you tap in with your, when you're really tapped in and soul connected, you are really tapped in and connected with your inner child. Remember the, the essence of the divine feminine and masculine coming together and creating the the divine inner child the divine child the creator the true creator that's what we are and this is such a beautiful personal part of your soul connection and your rebirthing and your true identity and who you really are meant to be in this next and and ha like the back half chapters of your life, no matter how old you are, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, doesn't matter. Um, and so it shouldn't be rushed. It's not about being pressured in any way. There's no timetable for this. I, I just keep repeating that because I don't want anybody to feel like, oh, we got to do this. I got to figure this out right away. No, what we do got to do is go through the map and fill in all the blanks. And we are going to go over this map in the next and the last live uh, meeting for this program. And um, as we move forward in the program, we're going to do things differently than what we first thought we were going to do. And, um, I'm not going to have just designated times of the year when I do this and then, you know, live, and then there's going to be recorded shows, um, for people to watch because they're doing it at their own pace. Uh, the way that it's going to be moving forward is, once I'm going to take um, probably at least a month, maybe two before this begins, because I am moving, like I said, um, but we'll see. Uh, but the way that it's going to be once I start it is it's going to be a, uh, um, a static kind of situation where I'm going to be having weekly meetings as long as there's people in the, in the program and I am going to cap the program at probably max eight people in the program at a time, maybe 10, but it's probably between eight and 10, maybe nine. <laughs> so what's the difference? It'll be nine, nine might be it. Um, but uh, there is gonna be a maximum because in the in the weekly meetings that I'll have, um, we're gonna talk to, you know, everybody gets to, to have time with me and to interact and stuff. So these meetings are not five and six hours long. Um, we're going to try, I have to limit how many people can be in them. So, uh, I, I have yet to decide exactly how many, but it's not a lot. And the cool thing is too, that you can start whenever you want to start. Cause I'm going to have these weekly meetings. So that means, um, Sue can start May 1st and three weeks later, John can start. And at week, you know, th three weeks in, she's coming in to talk about the, um, what map would that be? The, uh, <laughs> spacing, the emotional map, emotional body map. And John could be, that's his first week. And he's talking about the spiritual map. And so these meetings are going to be a mix of people at different stages of the program, which was decided it's going to be really good for everybody, whether you've already done that map 
it's going to be good for you. Whether you haven't done that map yet, it's going to be good for you. And this opens it up to anybody starting at any time. And I just have weekly meetings for the Soul Quest program. As long as there's people in the Soul Quest program to have weekly meetings with me, that's the way it's going to be. And you can start at any time. And for those who have been in the Soul Quest program, you are able and invited to do and redo the Soul Quest program completely with me and join in on, on meetings up to twice a year. Um, and it, as long as I'm guided to do and host and be and be a facilitator for the Soul Quest program, which I don't see that ending anytime soon because it's so amazing and so effective. And it's going to be a prerequisite for anybody joining me in a program. Um, and it was such a big deal that that's how it got created to begin with. I had clients and programs and or beginning, you know, more, you know, extending programs or beginning again with programs. And this came through in um, February that we needed to take a uh, veer in a different direction before going into the normal programs that I did with that I have had done with them and or was going to do with them and take these couple months out to do this instead before we go and get back on the road into program because it's going to set us up so much better for what we're going to do in programs there's going to be we're going to have such a blueprint a literal map of in all of the areas for all of your bodies and what needs attention what needs celebrating what needs releasing what needs healing what needs um, transmutation, whatever, through your transfiguration. And um, this really excited me so, so very much. I was like, wow, this is awesome. And it was also for me too. I was going through a, a lot of upgrades and shifts and downloads and all sorts of stuff. It was going on at the end of 2022, beginning 23. And it was, I was guided to take a hiatus and this whole thing got downloaded while I was on hiatus and um, created extremely quickly. And then we were guided to do the, like the half a month uh, or like three weeks of daily shows leading up to the first Soul Quest program, which we are about to finish now. And now we're back to real time. Um, so to be able to come back uh, and do the Soul Quest program as many as two times in a year. That means every four months, four to six months, if you wanted to, it doesn't, you don't have to do it twice a year, you, you know, whatever you want to do, but that's the max you can do because you need time after doing the Soul Quest program to review what you did. And that brings me to the next part of how we go forward here since we're completing with this map for the spirit name. So what we're to do, uh, what you're to do, especially if you're a client of mine, that's going to be starting with program. If you're one of those people, um, what we're to do for the next about a month um, is review the soul quest program. Circle back to the beginning with the spiritual map review, uh, reprint it, review what you did and go through it again. Do the, the spirit walk again. Before we did it one map a week. You don't have to do one map a week. You do it faster than that. But it could, so it could take more than a month. It could take maybe less than a month, depending on how ravenous you go through it. But it's to um, truly, really get the most out of the program um, it's not just doing it the one time, because as those of you know who did the program, you didn't fill out all the questions. You didn't fill them all out completely for any of the maps. And so here's your time to go and do it. No, we're not going to have any more weekly meetings. This is for you to do on your own. Um, and 
then assess for yourself where you're going from there. If you're going to be in a program with me, we're going to work with those maps intensely moving forward. We're going to review them together. We're going to we're going to dig into them where we're at with everything, along with everything else that's going on with you. And that'll be such a big part of your program because it has it's like the cheat code to where we need to go and um, or at least to begin how to map out where we're going from now. And if you're not working with me individually, then it's still giving you all of that to do for yourself and to make a plan for yourself. Either way, it's the beginning of the beginning and reviewing the Soul Quest program on your own time for yourself for the next month or two is something that really needs to take place. So obviously, so if you do the Soul Quest program in real time for two months, then you're reviewing for at least a month or two, that's four months. The soonest you could possibly re start all over and redo the Soul Quest program would be after that within within in month five or six so you see you can't really do it more than twice a year um and it's it, it's meant to, to you do it it's a detoxifying clearing out like cleaning the basement and the garage and making sure you see everything and making yourself aware and then it's organizing all of that and then making a plan for, you know, how you're going to or, or making a plan for how you're going to organize it, then actually organizing it and then, you know, putting things into action. I mean, this takes time because it's not the only thing you have going on in your life. So, you know, it's a very important aspect of what you have going on. And it's it's such a, a huge tool and key to everything that is coming after this. So you really need to give it the dedication and the time that it requires to do this. So after week by week and meetings and forum and spirit walks and everything, we find ourselves here at the end with this map and then circling back at the very beginning and doing it again for yourself on your own time. Again, this could take a month or two, really depends. If you're going to be a program with me, we'll figure out when we're going to review stuff and talk about stuff. For, but for at least four weeks, you are to process and work on this on your own and redo it on your own and see where you're at in a month. Have you done it all in a month? Do you need more time? Where are you in a month? Because a month goes by really, 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 really fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ridiculous, especially the way it's going to be the rest of this year. It's bonkers. So, you know, we can think like, oh, a month. Yeah, it's a long time. No, it's not. It's really not. It goes by super quickly. So give yourself the month, especially if you're going to work with me in program, give yourself the month to see where you're at in a month. Um, where are you July 1st with your review of the Soul Quest program? Um, because that's going to dictate everything moving forward. And if you're not in program with me, same thing. Give yourself a month, see where you're at, because now is not the time to start implementing change and, you know, doing a whole bunch of stuff. Um, unless you're very, very clear on, you know, I need to do these healings first or this trip first or this detox first or this cord cutting first or whatever that it is, um, then, you know, do that. Uh, but aside from that, you know, unless it's super like this is critical, I need to do it right away. And I know that absolutely go for that. But um, if you have questions about that, we can talk about that in the next meeting. But otherwise, don't get all antsy in the pansy is about, you know, being in action about changing stuff right away or you know doing whatever right away even if it's working with me we need time you need time to go back over and do it all again and then you're gonna get pop out of that time period uh having been able to process the program this is about processing what you just did for two months and filling in the blanks of what didn't come through those two months. And then you have 
something to work with. Not until then, though. Not really. Not until then. So give yourself that time, at least a month. See where you're at after that. We could talk about this more in the, in the meeting. Um, and then we'll take it from there. And uh, whatever you're guided to do. And moving forward, though, I'll be having live shows and stuff like that. You can always ask me questions. Um, and, uh, if you're a soul quest program member about, you know, you'd be like, I'm in my review and I'm going through this and I have a question, you know, ask me that, um, we are not going to have an active soul quest program, uh, forum after next week. Um, if you want to continue in forum fashion, um, there is the shaman circle forum. Um, so I was guided that we leave the soul quest program forum for when we're active in the program. Otherwise post and connect and do your, your business. And I love the way that it's been in, in the forum. So we're not losing that, but it's different because we're not in the program anymore. So it's just the shaman circle forum that is brand new so we can start there after next week um you can post questions in there um and progress in there if you like and and work with each other and and motivate and support each other um on in that forum um and then i'll be uh this podcast is going to shift into different things different things that i'm guided to talk about i don't really know yet right now how that's going to go and i'm kind of stoked on that <laughs> that i don't know um but i will be coming back uh probably um within two weeks um probably not next week because i am moving. Like I said, I'm not going to be doing a full moon, but possibly something for the Stargate for 6-6. Six, six. Uh, if things come together enough and, you know, after two days of, or three days, two, three days of after the move, and that makes sense. So make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, that you're subscribed to my website, uh, and you can get to that um, from the uh, description below, but it's infiniteempathtransfigurations.com or just infiniteempath.com to get to my website to uh, subscribe so you will be made aware of what I have going on. But definitely subscribe and, and click the bell on my YouTube channel. Um, also link is in the description of this podcast. So you can be notified if I pop up with a live and I'm, I think once I moved and settle in, I'm going to be doing hopefully, uh, well, I'm going to make it. So I have really great, um, internet there in the middle of the country, but, um, I am going to probably do more lives from outside because there's no neighbors that can hear me and, and I'm super excited about that. So make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, and I guess that's it for now. Uh, when it comes to all of this, when it comes to your spirit name, I hope you're excited to delve in and see what pops up for you and just let it roll. Um, again, this is just about, you know, beginning this process. It's not about finalizing anything yet. Just let it be what it is organically and have fun with it because it's, it's supposed to be fun. This is so exciting your rebirth and it's a process it's all one big long process that we see in these chunks of time and this is a beautiful chunk of time that you have spent for yourself with yourself by yourself and me and the group if you're part of this program um if you're not yet definitely check out the website for uh, when we're going to start again in a month or two, we'll see when I'm guided to actually start again. I have a feeling it's going to be in August though, or even September, maybe a little bit longer just with everything going on. But once we start, um, it's going to be great and it's going to continue. And, um, I suggest if you intend to be a part of the soul quest program, if you're interested 
in the way it's going to be then um, or what it is, please check out the website. But it has changed. Now we're not, you know, doing it the way I had thought we were going to do it in the beginning, where I'm not going to have start dates. They're not going to be um, uh, self-paced and just videos. It's going to be all live. And if the meetings are private and if you're there, you're there. If you're not, you don't you weren't there. There is nothing to watch um, if you're in the program. Um, so there's a couple of these tweaks. Um, uh, the Oh, the spirit walks are part of the program. They're not extra. Um, it's not, or not extra, but they're not um, an option because just a couple of spirit walks in and I was like, oh, so these are mandatory. <laughs> you have got to do these with the program. And so that's the way it is. So there are these three most fundamental changes is it's going to be once I start it up again, it's going to be all the time, unless I'm guided to take some kind of break, which we would know about ahead of time, which I will be guided to take breaks. But anyhow, but it will be all the way through. You can start at any time. Um, if you're uh if you ever do the program, you're always invited to come back to do it again up to two times per year. Um, the meetings are private. They're not live anymore. Um, the spirit walks are included. Um, and uh, yeah, so those are the big, the, the big changes there, mostly when it comes to the program. And uh Maybe there'll be more, but I think that's probably it. That's all that's come through as far as changes go. But they're big ones. They're fundamental changes to the program that I think will um, kind of possibly change how people uh, may be interested in doing the program or, or not. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I'm very, very excited about, about that and other programs that I'm going to be guided to create as well. I love doing the group thing. They're so fun. They're so um, enriching and and lovely and fun, and I absolutely love them. Uh, I really, really do, really, really, really love doing group stuff. So there's going to be more group stuff aside from the Soul Quest program. Um, I'm just going to give myself some time to let that all filter through in the next couple months because there's a lot to settle in as I move into my new home and get settled in in there for sure. And just I know I'm going to be getting massive downloads. <laughs> so bear with me when it comes to starting things back up again and everything. But um, it's going to be more magical than ever, I'm sure. And again, for those of you who have, who have done this program with me, this maiden voyage of the program, thank you for your participation, for your support, for your openness, for your um, understanding and in, in the way things have shifted and changed and been laid on the way they things have happened sometimes. But it seemed to have all worked out just fine and perfectly and exactly the way that it needs to be. And I thank you all for being a part of this program and uh, enjoy this map. <laughs> enjoy the spirit walk that I'm going to go and record here in a few. And I will see you next week at our meeting, our last meeting for the Soul Quest program. And again, I'll be back with the podcast within the next week or two after I get settled in and we're going to see what's on the horizons for infinity shaman circle podcast in the future until then infinite love and blessings. Uh, thanks again for being here. Share this podcast with your friends and family who would resonate and please rate and review on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. I would really appreciate it. I have not had time at all to do any kind of promoting of this podcast. It's really been just with the program and getting through all of this stuff that's been going on. So I appreciate whether you watch this on YouTube or you listen to it, your comments on YouTube, your um, likes and shares, your reviews and your rates um, for the actual podcast on the podcast platforms is really, really very much appreciated, Soul Family. 
And that's it, loves. I'll see you later, alligator. Until next time. Bye for now.